Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick and today we're diving into a somewhat controversial topic. We're going to talk about why the iPad is a better fit for a cybersecurity professional than the Mac. Yep, you heard that right. Last year I sold my M1 MacBook Air to get an iPad Pro and it's been a game changer. Let's get into why. So first off, let's talk about efficiency. You know, as cybersecurity professionals, we deal with a lot of shit work. You know, work that the system generates for you to do that serves no other purpose than managing the system. Uh, this is where the iPad shines. So with the iPad, you have a streamlined interface that cuts down on the time spent navigating menus and settings. Tasks like checking logs, managing network configurations, and monitoring security alerts are so much easier than on a desktop. There's no more dealing with cumbersome file management and endless system settings. And yes, file management is cumbersome on every OS. Managing a hierarchy of folders is so 2007. And you just get with the times, Grandpa. Document-based operating systems are dead. Everything is app-based now. And another thing to keep in mind is that on a Mac, you have to constantly manage running programs in their windows. It turns into a mess of applications, one behind another, and you spend a lot of time managing your running programs. That's not a thing on the iPad, and for good reason. On the iPad, it manages running, running applications for you, which makes so much sense. The computer is better at managing running applications than the user is, so why wouldn't it do that for you? Now let's talk about the app ecosystem. The iPad has a great, fantastic range of apps specifically designed for cybersecurity tasks. You have stuff like iShell for running Python and SSH scripts and everything, and then you have stuff like Termius and RDP clients for managing remote servers and systems. Compare this to my old MacBook Air. Sure, it could run most of these apps, but they never felt as integrated and smooth as they do on the iPad. The touch interface on the iPad means navigating through these apps is, simply put, faster and more intuitive. And plus, with the Apple Pencil, you know, you can do things like annotate documents, mark up logs, and even sketch out network diagrams, and that's all effortless. Alright, so let's talk about portability and battery life. So, the, I the iPad is ridiculously portable, especially the 11-inch version I have. It's lighter, it's thinner, and it's just easier to carry around than a MacBook. And when you're on the go, whether it's attending meetings, on-site visits, or just working from a coffee shop, the iPad's form factor is hard to beat. And battery life? Well, the MacBook had better battery life, but the iPad can easily go all day without needing to charge, which is critical when you're constantly moving around and need reliable access to your tools. Alright, so here's the big one. Security. So the iPad is inherently more secure than a Mac. The iOS ecosystem is locked down tightly, reducing the attack surface significantly. If you've seen some of my previous videos, then you'll know that I've been writing some custom scripts that act and kind of simulate malware, and I've tested these scripts on Linux, macOS, and Windows. If you're interested in seeing more about those, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But the thing is, I was trying to figure out how to do these same things from the iPad, but I just couldn't. I couldn't, because it is by design so much more secure than other systems, especially desktop operating systems. So let's talk about doing actual cybersecurity work. So as a cybersecurity professional, I spend most of my time securing other systems. What that means is that the system that I'm using to do that doesn't really matter. 90% uh, of what I need to do is securing other systems, and that can easily be done on an iPad. That other 10%, including things like reverse engineering malware, well, I just do that on a Windows 10 virtual machine on my server. So, would it be more convenient to do that kind of analysis from a local machine? Yes, but when you're reverse engineering malware that's found in a business setting, you need a clean system to do that from for the sake of creating a paper trail, preserving evidence. You want to do all of that kind of stuff on an installation that's earmarked just for that single incident. So again, in a real-life scenario, 
you wouldn't be doing malware analysis reverse engineering from the same computer that you use every day. And that would happen on a dedicated VM for each incident. And with that in mind, the iPad serves as a perfect interface to manipulate that VM from. So let's talk about some practical use cases. So need to SSH into a server? Termius on the iPad gets you there in seconds. More advanced things like using Burp Suite or Metasploit, well, you're going to be using a remote desktop system for that. But again, the thing is, in a real life scenario, when you have a security incident, you need to have each incident contained in its own virtual machine for analysis. So again, even if it could be any system that you're using, it could be a Mac, it could be an iPad, it could be a Windows box, but you're not going to be doing that analysis from that system, at least not in a professional setting. And another advantage of the iPad is that it can be used as an extra screen for your Mac, uh, which gives you more screen real estate and, you know, you can put up your dashboards and your tools all over it. So in conclusion, the iPad is a powerful tool for cybersecurity professionals. It offers efficiency, portability, security, and an ever-growing app ecosystem tailored to cybersecurity needs. It minimizes the shit work uh, and lets us focus on what actually matters, which is securing other systems and networks. So if you're still using a MacBook and finding yourself bogged down by the, by the system management, consider making the switch to an iPad. You might be surprised at how much it can streamline your workflow and enhance your productivity. So that's it for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more cybersecurity tips. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you've made the switch yourself. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next video.